Good morning! I'm up bright and early today to head to Diamond Valley Lake in Hemet, California to go for a short hike and hopefully see some of the beautiful wildflowers that are blooming due to all the recent rain. So now that we know where we're headed, let's get going. I'd like to avoid as much traffic as possible. Hemet is about an hour and a half from where I live in Orange County, and I think I'll be going against morning traffic, but it is California, so we'll see if that's true or not. <laughs> okay, I finally made it to Diamond Valley Lake. It did end up taking about an hour and a half to get here. Traffic wasn't too bad. Not sure how it'll be on the way home, but definitely think it was worth it. It's beautiful up here. Um, I picked this hike mainly because it was going to be easy. I mean, it costs money to get in here. I'll get into that in a second. But the fact that there's a wide open parking lot with tons of spaces, bathrooms, and very obvious trail signs is sort of what I was in the mood for today. So like I said, it costs $11 to park your car and then $4 per person for the wildflower trail. I'm hoping that there are still a lot of flowers out. I'm not sure if I'm early, if I'm late, I'm guessing I'm sort of towards the later end of the wildflower bloom, but maybe it'll just be different flowers. Um, they did give me a nice little pamphlet, which I'll show you in a second, talking about the different flowers you'll see. Other than that, they gave me a receipt for my car window and a paper ticket to hand to someone at the beginning of the trail. Um, really excited. It's nice and sunny and yet cool out, which is my preference. There are a lot of people here dressed up all fancy to go take pictures in the flowers, but um, hopefully that's not what you were expecting out of me because I'm definitely not prepared for that. We're just gonna go look at them and the beautiful views and enjoy the nature. <laughs> Okay, so here is my trail pass. I already have my sticker in my window, but what's interesting here is the wildflower booklet they gave. Pretty poppies on the front. Some information about the trail. Oh, rattlesnake warning. I know they're out there, but I prefer if they just did not come by me. Um, I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. I don't like snakes, but <laughs> anyway, here are some of the beautiful flowers it looks like we'll be able to see. There's quite a few here. I guess I wasn't expecting quite so many. Um, you really see a lot of the orange poppies on the hills and some of these yellow flowers. I love plants, this is exciting. Um, I'm gonna bring this with me and let's go see what flowers we can spot. So when you put it in your GPS to come here, it pretty much just brings you straight here. There's a road up there and there is a booth there. I'm sure that you have to pay there on some days when it's busier, but it's actually less busy than I was expecting today. It is a weekday, however. Giant parking lot, very easy. We like that. The lake is back there. You can't really see it from here, but there's a little store up there with some snacks that you're supposed to go check in if the booth is closed and then you pay for your parking and your trail pass. And um, if you were fishing, I'm sure you would have to go in there as well to get whatever permits you need for fishing. I don't actually know. <laughs> and it looks like the entrance to the trail is up over there. I don't know if you can see some people walking up. Um, so I'm gonna head that way and let's get going. It's looking good. We've already got some wildflowers on the way up. I just thought this was a cool view of the lake. It's actually really big. Well, bigger than I expected. I shouldn't say really big. I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> and this is a man-made lake. Uh, looks like it's really popular for fishing, boating. It's pretty, but also unrelated to wildflowers. This boat launch, boat landing, this is intense. I've never seen such a giant boat landing before it. Again, though, my frame of reference is Minnesota, so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how, but somehow I managed to miss a turn on the easiest trail with the most signs in the world. There's people way up there. Maybe you can't see it from here. I think that's the loop I meant to be on. I walked right past a sign that said Wildflower Trail. It didn't look like there was anywhere to turn, but I just checked all trails and it looks like I walked right past it. This main trail that goes around the lake is like 
20 miles, so I could have been walking for a long time. So I'm gonna walk back and see what turn I missed so I can get up there where everybody else is. So I walked right past this sign earlier. You can't really read it from here and I'll show you on the map later. <laughs> I went farther around the lake. Um, there's a little path behind it I think I can take to get up to the upper loop trail, according to their pamphlet. <laughs> um, not sure what turn I originally missed because this is like a second entrance to it, but we're gonna get up there one way or another. So here's the trail behind that sign. I'm almost like, I don't wanna go up here because there might be snakes, but I'm gonna do it. It's fine, I'll just be vigilant. Um, there were people behind me earlier that were trying to catch snakes and I was like, I gotta get away from that. And then I, I just wasn't paying attention to where I was going and <laughs> walked the wrong way. So uh, let's see what's up here. It should be a beautiful view. Okay, so here's a loop trail. I'm kind of in the middle of it, because I came up over there from the lake trail. You were supposed to get on it somewhere down there and do a nice little loop up over this hill and back down. But I guess I'm the queen of going down the wrong trail, so <laughs> I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna walk the whole thing back to here because I'm stubborn and I need to see it all. There are lots of nice little spots to come off the trail a little bit and get nice views of the lake, the city, the mountains. But if you want less people and a much more flat trail, you could just stay on the lake trail. There were plenty of beautiful flowers down there. There's a few more up here, but you know, choose your own adventure. So for reference, I walked way over there before I realized I wasn't going the right way and I came back. And I came up the trail right by this big water thing around here and that way. So that's another way you can get up here. One thing that definitely seems to be true is the second half of this loop trail where you're going downhill has a lot more flowers in bloom. It's really impressive. So I made it back to the car. I had such a nice morning hiking, looking at the lake and all the wildflowers. Even with all my extra exploration, it was definitely worth it. My big question when I came here was, is it going to be worth the money, the $15 that I paid to get in here? And I think it was, mostly because it was just so nice to have a guaranteed place to park, nice bathrooms to use, and a guarantee that you're going to see wildflowers. Are there places that are free or cost less? probably, and I'll explore those in future years, but for now, this was just a really nice way to get outside and enjoy nature. I think it would be also really great for families or pretty much anybody looking to see wildflowers because you can see them from both the trail that's a little bit steeper and goes up higher, but you can also see them from the relatively flat, wide um, trail that just goes around the lake. Okay, well, I gotta head out now to try to beat traffic on the way home, but thank you so much for coming on this hike with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the wildflowers, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>